Hey, Ecto, what's up? You want to do our top 10 favorite international cars? I think it's only fair since we did the top 10 U.S. I'm glad you said that because the U.S. was your thing. International is my thing, buddy. Let's do this. All right, Ecto, what's your number 10? This is your favorite sounding car in the game. It's the 1994 Ferrari F355 Berlinetta. I love that car. It has this weird high-pitched screech as it goes by. I love to lose to it. And it's so it's so dominant. It is. It's a good car. Ash, why is your phone up? Because I didn't eat my member berry, so I need help remembering what my list was. All right, what's your number 10? My number 10 is actually that sweet Aston Martin DBX, the uh, SUV. The blue one has got the white dot with my number on the side. Jeff's kiss in the car, dude. I love that thing. It is pretty solid. Yeah. It's good at cross country, not in the city. So, for number nine, I went with the 1988 Lamborghini Countach. Ain't that the car from Wolf of Wall Street, bro? It is. That's the one that he drove to the country club and couldn't get home. I love that car just for that reason. I don't remember what it's like to race against. Honestly, one of my favorite movies, and I'm so glad you said that. Well, bro, our number nines are a little different. I chose the 2019 Remick Concept 2. Oh, my God. It, it is definitely on my list, but not the same number. It, I've set so many records in that car. It's, it's not even fair. It's a speed queen. That's it. It's a speed queen. 100%. And, it's the it's the fastest useless car I own. And Best I've done thousands of miles in it. So for my number eight, I went with a car that I've heard a lot of curse words when you've seen it on a co-op, and that's the 1981 BMW M1. Oh, that thing. That car. <laughs> I'm glad you bring it because I know we're not going to lose, but I know I'm not going to beat it unless it's in one of three cars. I can't see how you get it to dance. I've never been able to get that to dance. It doesn't have a lot of top end, but if I'm in the city, that baby will go. All right. Well, they've never played together because they're the different rating, but the Zenvo TSRS for 2019. Oh, you know, the I, rem one that's got I the remember it. Oh, I remember. Yeah, that thing's a beast. I love that car. Yeah, I know you love it, and I, I don't love running against it because... The, that wing, every time I see that wing just do this and ducking and diving, I'm just like, all right, it's over. So for my number seven, I actually kind of stumbled across this car, but it's the 2010 Aston Martin 177. I remember that car. I built a play buddy for that thing, uh, Friday Night Lights again. And uh, they involved into being some of the best road cars in a hurricane we ever raced. Absolutely, yeah. but my, my downfall is I didn't put off-road tires on it. I, I put asphalt tires on it, and it's only only asphalt, no no off-road. Yeah, it's, I mean, that was a long time ago. That was before we had our formula down of what we used to race with. Oh, yeah. If I got another one of these, I would absolutely put off-road tires on it and, and see what happens. Cool, man. You know, for my number seven, a little bit different. But the same thing, you know, the 2013 Law Ferrari, the red ball one, the one that's the red car has got the uh, the black eight ball or the four ball in the front bumper. And when I built that car, it was just like that Zenvo. I didn't change the wing on it. It had the active aerodynamics. It was just like a little red rocket. On to number six. I went with the 2011 Lamborghini Sesto Elemento Forza Edition. It's Dino Brewster's car in Need for Speed. Yeah. Yeah, it's the one that he put up to uh, to take out Toby Marshall. Yeah. But I won. So, I mean, I got a lucky wheel spin when I first started playing this game. And, dude, I just, I won everything when I first started playing it. I remember uh, whenever we started doing our time comparisons and whatever, like jumps, every time, Sesto Elemento, Sesto Elemento, Sesto Elemento, until, the, until you got the, uh, the, the Remick. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome car, man. All right, bro. Well, your number six is pretty fantastic, but for mine, it's the Audi e-tron. It's one of my Spearmint Rhinos. I love that car. It, it's got all the power and all the weight, and I've won many races in it. I, I just It cracks me up every time you say Spearmint Rhino. 
<laughs> what a name for a car, right? Yeah. And the way I drive, and the much as I mean, it, it fits them. They're big, heavy, get out of my way cars. Yeah. Now, now with that said, Forza, I hope you're watching. In Forza Six or Horizon Six, please let us name our cars. Oh my God! Please let us name our cars, because you will have a whole spirit mint Rhino Corral for me. So for my number five. I, I went with a little bit of a heavier car this time, the 2017 Maserati Levante S. That's the uh, the SUV, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I uh, I remember racing that a couple times in my uh, my big old Bentley Bentayga. But... Oh yeah. Well, what's great about this vehicle is I built a seven and an eight hundred, and they're both solid. I could never get it to dance. The fact that you like it is amazing to me. It's so good. Well, my counter to your uh, your Maserati is my Mercedes CLK VTR. You know the uh, the race car. Oh yeah, I love that thing. It's the only car I really enjoy driving that has drag radials on it. It's a broken car, but it's a lovely car. That one is tough to beat, even with the drag slicks on it. Yeah. It's uh, it, drag slicks run most cars, and it didn't ruin that one. It actually made it better. I I think yeah, I, I've tried drag slicks on several just to try to break them, and it usually it just ruins them. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a cool combo. All right, so for my number four, I know Ash isn't gonna see this one coming, but I went with the 2013 Wooling Sunshine S. I I built an eight and a nine hundred for for each class, and they are. So so good for vans and SUVs. You know, if you'd have told me a little shitty Chinese van would have been a good car for you to race in, I wouldn't have believed it. When I first and, got it, I hated it. It, it uh, didn't dance at all, but then I, I redid it, and that baby will just move. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's it's amazing. I, I can't believe it. It's a good car. Really good car. Well, for my number four is the 2020 McLaren GT. Mm -hmm. Do you know why that was my number four? Is that the first car you broke? That's the first car I ever broke where I discovered the mechanic of, you know, putting worse parts on a good car made it a worse car. <laughs> but it formed the base of everything that we do in this game now. It, it really is, yeah. Yeah, it's a... Uh, I haven't raced it often, but it's... Oh, I love the car. It's it's a mechanic former. It's an old reliable. Yeah. On to number three, and I got to say, this is probably my favorite all-around off-road asphalt car for a 900, and that is my 2017 Ferrari 812 Superfast. I love your Superfast. I don't think you do, because I, I usually hear some curse words when you see it show up on a co-op. Well, I'd rather dance than, you know, just outright win it. You know how I, I mean, am. Hey, that bitch will do the five Ds of dodgeball. That's all I'm saying. Well, I'll tell you what. You're going to recognize my car that go with that one. I do the uh, 2005 Ferrari FXX. Oh, yeah. Those two have been dancing buddies <laughs> since the tango came around this side of jazz, man. I've, I've, I remember many nights staying up and doing that one last race. And we, we finished either way like this. And both of us saying, I will do that dance any day of the week if it's that close. Yeah. And they, I mean, they dance all the time like that. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. So for my number two, I went with the fastest car in the game, and that is the 2020 Koenigsegg Jesko. And I'm telling you right now, I built an all-wheel drive, and I built a two-wheel drive for top speed. Both of them. The, the top speed two-wheel drive is insane until you hit 140, but yeah. the all-wheel drive will still run 285. Yeah. It, uh, you actually got yours to 320 miles an hour, if I remember correctly. It was 314, but they've made an update in the game, and now yeah. you can only hit, like, 304. Yeah, they broke some of the game mechanics, because this game used to have some wild shit happening. Well, for my number two, you remember the old uh, Donkavort GTO? The old uh, winningest triangle? That Donkavort can go to hell. I really think that's the only car on your list so far that I've never beaten. I'll agree with that. I'll agree with that. That car, it, I've lost in it, but it's rare. It's very rare. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I don't like it. It's, uh, oh, it's badass. But I hate the car. I never could get it to, 
Good drive like yours. Yeah, crazy. All right, so we're finally to that number one spot, and I have no choice but to go with the 2019 Rimic Concept 2. And I'm still, Ash, I'm kind of amazed that you made that number nine on your list. It's a fun car, and it's a lot of enjoyment going up and down the high-speed strip, and it does a lot of the time trial stuff and all the snapshots, but it functionally like racing. It's a terrifying car to drive. Well, I mean, I guess it's preference. I just, I've set too many of my records in that car not to pick it as number one. Yeah. All right, man. So for my number one, you know the 2013 Audi, the Quattro with the 5.2 V10, the Spearmint Rhino with the cargo pod? Yeah, no, I remember it now that you mention it. I, yeah. I have one goal in mind when I see that, and that is to knock that cargo thing off the top. You know why I use that? Just to piss me off. No, because I can bait you into bad decisions, and I know I'm at least going to win half the race. Oh, success <laughs> every time, if that's your yeah. goal. Yeah, and like I said, that's that's the other Spearmint Rhino, man. I, I have a collection of them, and I don't know why. All right. That was a cool top ten. You know, international cars, I didn't, I didn't know what to expect. Um, I knew we both would have the Rimmick. I didn't realize we'd be polar opposites with it. I, I really think the same thing because I've set too many records when it comes to speed zones, speed traps, uh, uh, super jumps, even drift zones. That car is just dominant, and that's why I had to make it my number one. Well, see, I think you've ranked every challenge in this game with that car, and to me, it's like that's a good reason to love it. I just, to me, it's more of just a fun get on the uh, high speed and just go and gone. Well, for a car that you can you can do so much with, and it's the second fastest car in the game, I think it runs like 285. Yeah, it's a sweet car, man. But uh, if you guys want the tune for any of the cars you've seen in this video, let us know in the comments, and we'll supply them to you. Yes, we will. All right, until next time, we'll see you guys. Bye. Until next time.